Jayco Seismic 400W here, Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, 15,250 pounds of pure unbridled awesomeness, brother. You're buying the whole seat, but you only need the edge kind of fun, you know? Um, like any Jayco, you're looking at the best warranty on the market. This has the best warranty in this segment of the market. Very rarely has any manufacturer ever come close to matching that. Um, the uh, whole thing, front to back, tip to tail, top to bottom, is just sweet. I absolutely love everything about this. They've done such a good job on their toy haulers the last couple of years. And that's why I, I am truly excited when I, one of these comes in because it is such a fun thing to, to be able to go through. We've added a 5500 Onan generator there and we've added quite a few things to this actually. So keep in mind this video might be a little different from the one we stock. We do carry quite a few. We don't always order them exactly the same. Typically pretty close to this though. Uh, more ride pin box up front. This is a rubber shock dampening pin box. It's going to help soften the blow laterally, whereas your double more ride suspension uh, back there will help uh, soften the blow vertically. Um, this also has another best in class feature room for four to six marine batteries. So if you are taking it off the beaten path, you can have maximum uh, non generator dry camping time. Uh, this is a true toy hauler knit. It is wide body. Man, it just looks sharp. Just looks sharp. Um, part of that's the cool frameless windows, these guys up here. Unlike a traditional camper window, which there's nothing necessarily wrong with, but over a long period of ownership, which is what a, a Jayco's made for is long ownership, those frames might start to sun fade and whatnot. That literally cannot happen on a frameless window because there literally is no frame. And the seal is hidden under the UV tinted pane so that you don't have to worry about the sun damaging anything over time. Um, if you uh, take a look here, you'll see we've upgraded to an automatic leveling system on this size of coach. It, it'd be a, a cold day in Hades before we stocked one of these without something like that. Um, you also see the, uh, the fully enclosed uh, docking station here. That goes along with the fully enclosed forced air heated insulated underbelly. The living area of this is 0 to 100 degree rated. Uh, you can't quite achieve that sort of insulation in the garage area of the fifth wheel with a um, uh, fueling station due to the fact that you cannot enclose the fuel cell of a toy hauler. That's a fire safety hazard because of fume buildup. However, Jayco does have a two inch insulated floor and does have the highest insulation level in the floors of their toy haulers or crossovers depending on how you want to think about them. This is a big girl so they do put it on bigger tires. They do put the extra axle on there to help with that. Uh, I mentioned the uh, suspension system. This has the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. CRE means compression rubber equalization. That means it soaks up shocks, jumps, jolts, and all that stuff at the ground level before it gets translated up into your walls, your windows, and everything else. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, rooftop here, you're going to see that wrap over roof line. That's a huge structural improvement over just a common fifth wheel. It takes a high stress point uh, and moves the seam away from it. So where the wall meets the roof is no longer uh, a leak magnet, basically. You see the ladder is built right on, so you don't have to worry about you know storing it or anything also if you look up here there is a dedicated awning over your rear patio deck i just simply haven't opened that because it's you know just a nice day here uh the patio deck system is absolutely awesome and jayco is the only one with this style of patio deck it's got a very cool little sliding gate right here so you can come and go if you want uh they, it just sort of slides away i don't have this side locked in place pardon me i just did a quick set on this this is a big monster and it takes a lot of time to go through it the way that i do um and consider that you know well, ask yourself why you're watching my videos and local dealers because they're not even willing to go to this level of customer service and I haven't even met you and I'm willing to put in this kind of effort. Imagine what we will do for you once we actually have met you. You give us a chance to shake your hand and nine times out of ten you're taking a trailer home from our dealership because you're going to meet us and understand that we are you know legitimate people. Uh, you see the anti-slip entry steps and this is a triple rear step not a double as I have seen on some other brands. A uh, very generously sized patio awning and notice how it just happens to go right over that second patio deck which is another option we put on here this thing has two patio decks and a partridge in a pear tree to go with it this is the type of fifth wheel that should have its own theme song like I said when you walk in you should be hearing the final countdown and you should see explosions and pyros and you should just start going doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. you should hear Europe just start going the final countdown I mean it should just go nuts when you pull in with this thing because you are going to turn all kinds of heads with this rig there is no doubt about that
the afternoon entertainment at the campground. And anyone who's ever camped knows exactly what I mean. Right when you walk in, you've got all of your controls and everything right here, and this awesome extra pantry space. Now what's cool about this is if you look at it, you'll see that this is all adjustable. Let me kick on some lights for you here. Oh, no, I can't do that because I left my battery box turned off. That is the second time today I've done that. And you would think I would learn that by now, but you know, it's just like how my wife has to remind me of stuff every six months. I keep telling her, you don't got a nag on me. You told me six months ago, I'm getting there. There we go. Imagine that. You turn on the battery box and we got lights. So all of your ceiling lights, uh master control compartment whatever you want to call it now being a t uh, big toy hauler they put the biggest slides they possibly could in here slides in this are as close to floor to ceiling as they can possibly get they're i don't know seven and a half eight foot tall something like that i didn't measure them because there's no point they're tall enough it just does not matter now you see that the sofa here has a very unique arrangement uh, the middle two sections can fold down into armrests if you're so inclined, and your end two seats actually have these little controls here. They, I, I think they can, they can like heat, recline, they can vibrate, they can, you know, massage, they can do all kinds of different stuff if you want them to. Now each of these middle sections here has their own cup holders. They do have their own charging stations with both USB and household outlets. So this is a just absolute monster fifth wheel for just living. And that's what I like about this. People, they're like, oh, I don't have toys. I don't want to look at a toy hauler. No, you really need to. You need to see what these things are all about because they're for more than just hauling bikes. This is a luxury fifth wheel that just happens to have a second living room sticking off the back if you don't need a toy. I mean, it's, it's just that simple. If you look around, you're going to see the same thing you see in like the pinnacle luxury fifth wheels. You see hardwood cabinetry. You see hidden hinge doors. You don't see the hinges on here. This is all the same stuff I can get you in a pinnacle, but here we have it in just a different concept. Again, all hardwood, all pocket screwed. This is cool. Extra little card table type thing right here, and it's like a motorhome style table. I've never seen this in a towable RV. So when you're uh, not uh, in need of it, it just kind of folds up and slides right away. And now we just have a small little table. So you can kind of convert that to whatever you need at the given moment. This fifth wheel, let's see, only comes with three TVs and a 30,000 BTU air system, the way we tend to include it. So you're gonna have a 50 inch, five zero inch TV by Furion, high def, uh, ultra thin screen right here. And you will actually get high def out of it because they do include the high def wiring. If you notice, you will see HDMI cables here, not RCA white, yellow, red cables. Um, we've got a gorgeous little sound bar down there so everything sounds sweet. You see the, the uh, Dimplex uh, electric space heating fireplace, extra storage above. Uh, there is a wall controller for this power ceiling vent fan, by the way, so you're not gonna have to you know, be 10 foot tall to reach that. Now this bunk up here, you could either use as a loft bunk or you could, um, uh, use it like an attic. Again, if you're not hauling toys, if you're not using this like an alternative bunkhouse, it still has all kinds of purpose. So that's where you keep your extra totes. You see they do give you handy ladder. Now, Jayco, another best in class feature. They have the widest transition door between the living area and the um, convertible crossover area, garage, bunkhouse, living room, whatever you want to call it. They have the biggest door. If you, uh, like a lot of toy haulers have those uh, extra chairs that can go back here. But if you want to travel, you actually have to take them out the back door and somehow get them inside the RV uh, to travel. This you don't have to because the door is actually wide enough to do it. That's why they do it. Now you're going to see a bunch of things in here, but what you won't see when you look around is an air conditioner because this has a whisper quiet AC system. If you look right there, that is one of the two uh, whisper quiet AC intakes. The air conditioner is still located right here where you would think it would be. But um, this only makes about 10% of the volume of a standard AC unit. Now, what you will notice, too, is your additional sleeping spaces are Denver mattress bunks. These are 50% thicker than industry standard. Um, we have included a little indoor-outdoor rollaway rug. So when you don't want to look at rubber diamond plate, again, I have uh, an option here to turn this into a second living space. And that's why we give it this equipment package back here. So once again, we have that thicker bunk here, and it's all kinds of wavy because I have the extra tables stowed away down here, so don't be like, well, what the heck is going on with their bed? Um, but uh, thicker uh, materials on the seating, 
It's just I, I'm dealing with a really wicked organic backlight behind me, so this is not real friendly. But you walk out here, and it is dovetailed for easy loading. I'm going to spin around to make this a little more obvious to you. There you go. So uh, we do have a dovetail for easy loading. I'll give you a trick, too. If you crank your front jacks way, way up and don't put your back jacks down, it eases the angle of incline and makes loading just a breeze. That's a tip from your Uncle Josh. There you go. Um, extra storage up here. Now, up here, you're going to get a 39-inch Furion thin flat screen, high def. Um, over here, this widget is its own dedicated entertainment system for this crossover space. This is AM, FM, CD, DVD. Uh, you don't have to worry about, um, uh, you know, what, how are the TVs wired? Each TV is wired locally. That's what's awesome about this. This is also a really sweet bath and a half model. Um, you, you don't have to worry about if you have guests or kids or, or if you are using this as an alternative bunkhouse, you don't have to worry about how are people going to uh, use the bathroom at night without disturbing the heck out of me. They won't. It's not a problem. They have their own half bath. Uh, there are blackout window shades for these windows here because with the Happy Jack bed, you can't put nice window treatments on there. Jayco does mount their window treatments high enough. You're not going to have a problem with ripping them off the wall while you're loading, and there is a shade to drop that down right there. Um, let's see, moving forward, I talked about all the hardwood cabinetry, we talked about that, talked about, there's another one of those power vent fans, by the way, back here with its own wall controller. So again, you don't need to be super tall. Now those little tables you saw under the bunks, those can be put right here, so you can use this like a dining space as well. Great storage in the kitchen, you see the solid surface countertops here. We've got all kinds of drawer space, cupboard space, everything space. This is sweet. This little charge station right here. And it's very easily hidden if you're not paying attention because you're kind of looking at like a black on black scenario. But so right here we have a little appliance corner. We can have a phone charger corner. Uh, we can have whatever you need. And storage in any Jayco kitchen is generally pretty darn good, especially a bigger one like this. We have upgraded this to the larger four door, 12 cubic foot refrigerator freezer and now this can be gas or electric. So once again, this is a very, very off-road friendly RV and that stainless bundle together with this color contrast. Snap, love it, pop. Um, move up to the bedroom, bathroom as it were. So a couple things, right when you walk in, right at the proper height, slick uh, switch right there, right where you want. We have floor to ceiling linen space in here. And now you'll notice again as I walk around, there's no trouble at all with headroom in here. Even my hat, my nice Jayco. I mean, I'm wearing Jayco coat. I, I'm a Jayco fan, don't get me wrong. When I go camping, I go camping in a Jayco. Shower's so big, they have a double skylight. And that also means, again, when you're dry camping, you do have more light in here. But one thing you won't find in this bathroom is a seam in the shower. This is a seamless shower. It is reinforced. And actually, if you look at it real close, you see that there's no like step up into the bathroom. They actually recess the plumbing under the floor here. So you have maximum headroom, even again in the shower, no headroom problems. Now, uh, again, with that seamless heavy duty stuff, uh, this is made again to be the last fifth wheel you ever need to own. That's why it has twice the warranty. Let me ask you this guys. There are some very, very big, expensive, heavy fifth wheel toy haulers out there. Do you really want to buy one whose refrigerator has a better warranty than the rest of the fifth wheel? Do you want to buy uh, uh, something uh, where the, 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 the RV manufacturer has less confidence in their craftsmanship than the guy who built the oven? That's the kind of questions you need to really think about out there and the implications thereof. We've got a nicer Denver pillow top mattress here. Again, another best in class feature. I love all the curvature and radius work in here. It just looks like it was scooped out and sculpted this way. We've added the second AC. Notice they're both centralized. This is a 30,000 BTU air system. That's why it has the big generator on it. Um, both sides of the bed have ample storage. And uh, additionally, we have the uh, closet slide out over here with that breeze through window and that is worth its weight in gold right there and again in the bedroom walk in ceiling height no no problems on my toes still not hitting the ceiling now over here against this wall the way we have this trailer equipped you're going to get a 32 inch furion ultra thin flat screen so this has 
50 inch living room, 39 inch garage living space, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, a 32 here in the bedroom, which is way more than enough considering you're less than eight feet from the thing. And this, because it is so tall, this is the biggest wardrobe slide I've ever seen. And it's that kind of stuff that separates a Seismic from Brand X. There's, there's other nice RVs out there, don't get me wrong. But Seismic make waves and uh, they've shaken up the industry. And uh, you know, pun totally intended because they've totally earned it. This is a superior product. It does have superior features. And I don't know, I like to think that maybe we're just a superior dealership. And that's why uh, we are the largest independent dealer in Michigan. You know, there's no one else, uh, and no other independent non-chain stores our size. I'm the other son, my dad runs the place, my brother's a service manager. We are a family run out. We just happen to be really darn big and successful. That's because we put extra service out like this. That's because we have an awesome finance team. It's because our parts team is just stellar. We make things happen. We make good deals, fair deals happen. I don't care if you're a neighbor, I don't care if you're not. These things are on wheels, they can get down the road. It's about a Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Remember, final countdown. Explosions.